Hey, I'm Megan with Stick It Designs. This is the Patriotic Design Tutorial Series. In this first video, we'll cover the Spangled Monogram. Video 2 will feature the Flag Monogram, and Video 3 will have the Daniel Stars and Stripes design. If you would like to stay tuned for videos 2 and 3, then be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here so you can catch those updates once those videos are posted. Okay, so let's get started with our monogram stars and stripes design. And just to give you a reminder, this is going to be similar to our finished product. Monogram stars and stripes. Okay, but we're going to use a new monogram. I've already created this monogram using the monogram it app. What I did was I created it in the app and then I saved it to my photo album, emailed it to myself, opened the email, clicked download, and once it came into my downloads, I just clicked and then dragged it onto my Silhouette Studio. Now this does open as a PDF, and PDFs don't actually cut in the studio, so what we need to do is we're going to use our trace tool. So we're going to come up here, use the yellow button with the little blue butterfly on the inside, and we're going to select the very top tool, which is Select Trace Area. I'm going to come over to our monogram. I like the area. I bring my scale down to 4. And then my threshold, you can click up if you want to. Um, but I usually just highlight and then type in 50.9. And then click. Usually if you go up to 51, it's whenever it starts to highlight the background area. Anything highlighted is actually going to come out in your trace, and we don't need all of that um, blank space. So just bring that back down to 50.9. And then we're going to come back to the Apply Trace Method toolbar, and we're going to select Trace. Pull the original off the top, and then we have our monogram. Now I'm just going to resize this. I'm going to be putting this on an adult t-shirt. I'm going to go to about 9 inches. Okay, and just click. Put it wherever you want to work with it. Now we want to design each individual letter. And right now this is one large compound path. So what we need to do is now that we have it at the size that we're going to use on the actual t-shirt, I want you to right click and then come down to release compound path. This is going to allow us to work with each individual letter. Now this isn't required. I do this part just to help myself visualize what the final product is going to look like. I'm going to click the first letter and come to fill color and go ahead and color that in blue. And now these next two letters, remember, are both going to be our striped letters. So I'm going to come in here, highlight both the letters together, and I want to group them just to make sure things don't get off kilter or out of order. And then again, come back, highlight the fill color button. Oops, I forgot, we need to make this a compound path again, so that keeps our D from filling in all the way. Again, to do that, you just right click. And then where it said make compound path, you're going to click that again. We don't want to release it. Okay, the next step is we want to start adding the stars into our first letter. Now, I don't have a star in my library, so what I did was I went to Google, typed in star, clicked on images, and then downloaded that image um, to my computer. So I'm going to come into my downloads. The five-pointed star. I'm just going to click and then drag that over here into the studio. Again, this is also a PDF file. So I need to trace this also. And this is actually a hollow figure. So we're going to trace it slightly different than what we did the first one. So come back to your trace button. Hit your select trace area. And then highlight the star. And it's already filled in pretty well for us. 
This time, um, we don't need to worry with threshold or scale. You can see that it's, this is as full as it's going to get. Remember I said this is hollow design. Instead of clicking trace this time, we're just going to trace the outer edge. So it's going to give us a design that can be filled with color. I'm going to make these white just to help us see what the final design is going to look like. And then start to resize. You want something that's going to fit inside your letter. Of course, if you want it smaller, you can go a little bit tinier if you want to, but I'm going to stop right about there. Now, instead of copy and paste in a dozen times, I'm going to right click on that image, click copy and paste, and then I'm going to highlight the two together this time. Copy and paste. I'm going to get a good bit to work with so that you don't have to stop later and come back to do that. Okay, that should be enough to start with. Now I'm going to start on the right side of the K because the, oops, let me undo that. Because this is a straight line over on the edge. So we're going to make sure our stars all align. So don't worry about trying to get that perfect when you're putting your stars in because we're going to use the alignment tool and let it do that for us. Okay, so we have our four. We want to select all four of the stars, but you don't want your letter also highlighted or it's all going to jumble together. So click on a star, then hold down your shift key and click all of the other stars. So it's leaving the K out and only selecting the stars. And we're going to come over here to align it's the three little bars, the horizontal bars. And we're going to um, come to align horizontally and then align center. You can see how they all kind of pop in a straight line. Okay, and then bring your other stars in. Each letter that I've done so far has um, turned out a little bit different from the one that was before. You can play around with this. As much as you'd like, if you wanted them a little bit smaller, a little bit closer together, that's completely up to you. Let me add some more stars in here. Okay, I want to come back and check my alignment again just to make sure it all looks good and lines up pretty in the end. And of course these over here, you're just going to have to put those wherever you like them because this isn't a straight line, so we don't want to align those. Okay, you could choose, if you have white vinyl, you could choose to cut these stars out individually, but I'm putting this on a white t-shirt, so I'm just going to punch these little white stars out of the design and let the white t-shirt shine through for me. Um, and to do that, I'm going to click and highlight all of the stars and my letter K. We don't want to include the F or the D just yet. And I'm going to come over here to the Modify button. It's the little one at the top of your toolbar with the M. And we're going to use the subtract option. When we click subtract, anything that's on top of the background design is going to disappear from the image. So when we click subtract, all of our stars go away and you can see where the um, grid is now starting to show through. So it's important to make sure that your stars are exactly where you want them to be before you click subtract because now this is one image. And of course, if you see something is out of order, you could just click undo and go back and make some changes before you subtract if you need to. Okay, now let's move on to our red letters. We're going to create our stripes. So I came over to my left-hand toolbar and selected the rectangle, or draw a rectangle. You want to make this long enough that it could um, stretch all the way through your F and your D. 
here I'm going to go ahead and fill this in white so that we can see exactly what's going on now with my other designs I've made this bar and half inch I'm not sure that's going to work with our letter F this time but we'll just play around with it and see with like I said each letter is turned out a little bit different from all the rest it's not letting me get on the half inch mark exactly so we want to come over to the scale button let go of that lock S aspect and then change the height to half an inch and click apply I think I'm going to go a little bit smaller on this one Okay, and just like our stars we're going to copy and paste Don't worry about getting your spacing exactly correct because we're going to use that alignment tool again and it's going to do it for us. You just come all the way down your image. And since you are making this design on your own, you get to be as customized as you want it to be. You can make these stripes larger, smaller, it's completely up to you whenever you're creating a design. Okay, so now I want to come back just like I did with the stars. I want to click on my top re rectangle, hold down my shift key, and select all of the rest. Come back to the alignment tool, that's the three little bars at the top. And then we're going to use the spacing options and we're going to click space vertically. And see how it pulled it down for us. Now I don't want it to split this line right here in the F. So I'm actually going to alter that one just a little bit. Maybe drag everything else to be even. Because I don't want it to look like a different letter. Okay, now I'm going to click and select my F and D letters along with each of the stripes. And our bars are also, or the stripes are also in front of the F and the D. And by that, let me just show you what I mean. If for some reason you created an image that you wanted to subtract and it was behind your image, that means it would look like this. See how the F and the D are in front of the stripes here? Whatever is in front is what is going to subtract. We don't want our letter to subtract there. So let's bring that bar back to the front. Highlight our letters and our stripes and we're going to come back to modify. And then click subtract just like we did with the stars. And there you have it. Now, this is just my own personal opinion. I'm not a fan of the little piece of the F that's left right here. Right now, these are individual pieces. After we subtracted, we need to make that compound path again. But just for this design, I'm actually going to delete that piece. Then you want to click, highlight your F and your D again. And you want to group those together or even um, make them a compound path, but that's going to delete your color. But you know what your color is going to look like. So you can leave it just like that. Now, if you are doing this with heat transfer vinyl, um, you know that this does need to be flipped before you cut. So we want to highlight the entire image, right click, and then flip horizontally. Just a reminder, or maybe you don't know already, your vinyl, whenever it's heat to transfer, needs to be um, with this shiny side facing down on your mat before you cut. 
Okay, so now let's come in because we are going to be using two different colors of vinyl here. So you don't want to cut the entire image whenever you just need to cut on your red vinyl. So we're going to come over here to your cut settings. Anything that has a red highlight on the outside is going to be cut. So because this K is not grouped with the F and the D, you can highlight the K or your first letter. And it should pop up under your cut setting menu and select no cut under cut style. And you see the red highlight disappeared. So now all it's going to do is cut the F and the D. Make sure on your material you choose um, whatever it is that you're going to be using. Mine is heat transfer material and it is smooth. It does have a little bit of a sparkle, but it's not an actual glitter. After you select your material, the editing should pop up here at the bottom. Mine's automatically set for an 8 speed. I like to set it um, to a 2. Sometimes if you go too fast, it can grab hold of the material and pull it. And thickness, my blade is still pretty new, so a 4 is going to work for me. You need to check your material, maybe even do a test cut before you cut your entire image just to make sure that your blade is going to cut through for your design. And then we would click send to silhouette if you are ready to cut. So let's say you have already cut your F and your D, everything came out as it should, and now you're ready to cut your K. To do that, this screen is still going to be highlighted after your cut. I'm going to click and highlight the entire design and so that I'm not wasting vinyl, I'm going to bring my K over to the edge. Anything that comes off the mat automatically is released of that cut option. But if you just need a peace of mind, um, that's a personal thing for me sometimes, you just need to come over to your cut style. Now once it's highlighted, select no cut just to make sure. And now we're going to put your blue vinyl in, or whatever color you're going to be using, and select the cut option. And you can see how it's highlighted. And it is going to cut the star designs out for us. So after you cut, you're going to weed out the K, and then you can come back and weed the stars also. It's also a heat transfer material. And the rest of my settings should still be the same even after that first cut. Speed 2, thickness 4. And then we're going to send to the silhouette. And your final outcome should look something like this. All right, thanks so much for joining me on this tutorial. Again, please subscribe to my channel so you can catch those next two patriotic designs once they are released.